Good morning and welcome back to Local 7 Lifestyles. Joining us this morning is Beth Phillips. She always joins us with excellent arts and crafts, especially very season-friendly crafts. That's so right. Today we're going to be making uh, Christmas today, ornaments. Cr we're making Christmas ornaments and what I'm going to be featuring is clear glass Christmas ornaments because I think they're the most versatile ornaments. There's tons of things you can do with them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you a bunch. All right. So starting out this one is once again, we're all using clear glass ornaments. This one I put in, um, this is a product called Diamond Dust, um, but you can also use just glitter, like uh, the clear white glitter. Yeah. And then I just took some scrapbooking stickers and put little snowflakes on each side. And those are so cute. And there's, there's tons of different stickers and mm -hmm. stuff you could use. So there you have one easy ornament, if you could hang Perfect. that over there on the tree yes. somewhere. See, and this looks like a great project for kids, but also a nice gift to give away. Yes, Even yes. grandparents, teachers. And that's what I love about these is you can buy a whole box of them, um, do a bunch of different stuff, and then you mm -hmm. can use them as like package toppers, yeah. and that way somebody has a special ornament. Oh, there you go. Now this, I like this one. That one's so pretty. This one's fun. I like this one. This one has um, the fake snow in it, um, mm -hmm. some little branches, and what I did, another ornament came with it, um, <laughs> was cut the greenery and also cut some of the little berries. Okay. Um, so just little clippets of them. Yeah. And you can clip a piece and stick it inside mm -hmm. and same thing with each of the berries. Okay. Um, so this little thing must come off. Yes. This comes right off and I'll show you that on one of the next ones. Okay. And just make sure if you're going to get the little um, picks, make sure mm -hmm. you get ones that will fit inside of your opening. Yes. <laughs> Very important. There's that one. Thank you. I will hang this one on our little tree. This next one I really like, and it's a variation on the first one we did, and it is what I've done, instead of putting glitter inside, is I put tinsel. Okay. So the tinsel that's on the long string, like that you would string around mm -hmm. your tree, I just stuck it down inside the ornament until it was full uh -huh. to where I wanted it. And then again, I just put another scrapbooking sticker on top. Mm -hmm. um, this one I thought ha had the little blue yeah. little rhinestone in it, so I thought it went really well. See, and this is such a good thing to use, maybe leftover tinsel from, from last year that you saved but aren't going to use this year. Yeah, maybe it got a little that's bit, what this was. Little bit wadded. Was, yeah, I just uh, stuck it down in there. I mm -hmm. thought, I'm not going to use this blue tinsel this year, so it'll be perfect for an ornament. Perfect. How cute. Here's another variation of the one with the glitter, uh, the fake snow inside. Uh -huh. I didn't want the the fake snow look so I just put a bunch of berries and one little sprig in there and I think it just gives it an earthy yeah. feel. One thing I like about these is that these are so elegant you know and and they seem like they don't take much effort at all. No not at all. The only thing with the one that had the fake snow in it mm -hmm. it was so hard to get it down inside yeah. <laughs> of there so I thought this one gives you the same look but it's a lot easier. Yes. Hey, and I'm all about easy. Next, we have one that's scrapbooking paper. And I love this one. This one so was fun to make. What I did was took scrapbooking paper, took a sheet of scrapbook paper, cut it into strips, uh -huh. and then I just <laughs> rolled the strips of paper on like a knitting needle. Or you could do a pencil probably. Yeah, you could do a pencil. And then once you had it all rolled up, you just took the top off, stuck it down inside there, and you had an ornament. Oh, see, that's something I've never seen an ornament like this. I just love that. And then this one is like the scrapbooking paper, but I just took this cute Christmas tissue paper okay. and wadded it up. I cut it, I just ripped it into strips mm -hmm. and wadded it up and stuck it down inside the, the ornament. And you could do this with all kinds of colors, any kind of, like if you had leftover paper that you saved from last year, but yeah. it doesn't look good enough to use. There we go. This I know one my has to be like that. my favorite, this next one. And I'll let you hold that one okay. so we can see all the different colors. This one is my favorite. Now, how did you do these? I'll show you. This, I love it. It's so much fun. It's just glitter uh -huh. inside and floor cleaner. Floor, floor cleaner, really? I, I don't know why it works, <laughs> but I know that it does work. So it's not glue, it's floor cleaner. No, and I mean, there are glitter glues that you can get. Uh -huh. But I figure if you have floor cleaner, floor polish at home, why not use it? So All right. I'll lay that over there. So I have thought, two clear ornaments for us to work with. 
one for you. Thank you. And just pull out the little top. Okay. Comes right out. Take your little cup. And I set it in there like that. Okay, just to hold it. Yeah. And you just pour a little bit of floor polish in there. And I'll pour some in yours. All right. Try not to get it all over the table here. I'm glad you're doing it, because I probably would get it all over <laughs> the table. All right, and then once you do that, you just gently swirl it around inside your ornament. Try to cover all your surface. Then once you've done that, you just turn it upside down into your cup and let it drain into the cup. Okay. And then you can, um, I've got several different colors of glitter. I'm going to do the silver. I'll let you Perfect. choose. Ooh, I'm going to go with the red. Okay. And then here's another cup. because so you don't want to put your glitter in the same as your floor polish because you want to be able to reuse your glitter. Mm -hmm. So take out the little sifter inside oh, okay. the top. Oh, it's stuck right <laughs> yeah, in there. There, there we, we go. go. <laughs> okay. And then take your ornament uh -huh. and hold it over your cup and just sprinkle the glitter inside. And just put a good amount in there. And any gl glitter will dump out any extra at the end. Oops. I spilled a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be all right. Is that enough? Yeah, I think that's enough. And you can always put in more. So put that o your napkin over top uh -huh. of the hole and then just and give it a it. shake. And you'll see that it starts to this side has all my glitter. This side doesn't have a whole lot. Okay. So I'll yeah, put a little more same. glitter in mine. And you just keep filling and shaking until your ornament is entirely covered. Uh-oh, I have a big chunk right there. And that's okay, too. Sometimes you'll get that, um, and you'll just put a, some more glitter in it. Mm -hmm. And mine, mine has a little spot, but, I mean, I could continue to fill that. But then, let's say they're all done. Mm -hmm. We'll say mine's done. You would just stick your little top back in, and you'd have an ornament. I love these. These are fun. And I just love the look of them. And you could even do multicolors, you know? Yeah. You could. You could do anything you want. And my recommendation, though, is to get fine glitter because mm -hmm. the, the chunkier glitter I don't think will hold as Probably well. Probably won't fill in the spaces as well Yeah. Either. And plus, I just think that the fine glitter just gives it the sparkle that you want, and it's mm -hmm. really pretty. These are so pretty. Ah, here we go. Voila. Uh, and there you have it. <laughs> you have a, a beautiful glittery ornament. All right, where'd my topper go so I can finish it off? All right, so I stick this down in here. Yep, you just squeeze the wire, stick it back down inside, and you have an order. Perfect. And you can use these for your tree, or you can give them as gifts. You could do a whole set to give as gifts, and nobody will ever know that it only took you about 30 seconds to make each one. <laughs> It'll be our secret. <laughs> all right, well, thank you so much, Beth, for you know showing us how to make all these great-looking ornaments today. Um, right now, let's go take a look at Destination Weather with Drew.